Okay, here we're going to, again, set up equations and solve by substitution, and we have perimeter examples. The first example is the perimeter of the front bay. 20 ounce cereal box is 50 inches. The height is 5 inches less than the width. You've got to find the height and width. The second example, the perimeter of the front of a textbook is 30 centimeters. The height is 6 centimeters less than twice the width. Find the height and width again. So we'll start with example 1. The perimeter of the front of a 20 ounce cereal box is 50 inches. The height, the height is 5 inches less than the width. Find the height and the width of the box. Okay. So, uh, first of all, we need to understand what perimeter is. Okay, so great to draw a picture. I mean, everyone can draw a picture. No, that's not hard, so please do this. Not a big deal. There's, there's the box, right? Okay. Um, the 20 ounce part of it, because look, we're looking for the height and the width. That's what we're trying to find. Find the height and the width of the box. Uh, sometimes in, in math word problems they put in numbers just to throw you off that have nothing to do with the problem. Now 20 ounces obviously has nothing to do with the problem. We don't ever use the number 20 here because we're just looking for height and width. And the, the weight of the box has nothing to do with height and width, right? So in any case, there we go. Now let's think about perimeter. Uh, perimeter is distance all the way around the edge of the front of the box, okay? Now, if, um, let me just give you an example, just for fun. If this was 10, this was 10, this was um, uh, 20 inches, and this was 20, what would the perimeter be? Uh, write it down. So, do this, and press pause if you need to, but calculate the perimeter of this box. Now, perimeter is the distance from, you know, this corner, down here, over here, up here, and all the way over here, okay? Now, my point isn't it 20 plus 10 and then plus 20 plus 10, right? So, basically, it's um, 20 plus 20. Obviously, this is 60 when you add up it's 60, right? But look, I have 120 plus 120. That makes two 20s, right? Let's write this down. This is fun. And then 110 plus 110. That's two tens, isn't it? Two twenties plus two um, tens, right? Two twenties plus two tens, and that's the perimeter, 60, right? Now, the reason, why, I want you to write like that, because look, what you're going to see is that you're going to see, um, you know, perimeter, theoretically, a box, you know, it has the, the height, say, and the width, height and width, okay? And the perimeter is from here to here to here to here to here. Okay, so write an expression for the perimeter now. If the height is h and the width is w, what's the perimeter? Write it down. You could do it with 10 and 20, that was easy, right? I'll do it with h and w. Press pause if you need to. Now I'll do it. Isn't it h plus w plus h plus w again, right? And if I add like terms, that's 1h and 1h, 2h's, 2h, right? And then we have 1w and 1w, that's 2w's, and that's the perimeter, right? D equals p, p for perimeter, okay? So 2h plus 2w is the, or 2l plus 2w, whichever, that is the um, formula for perimeter, right? So when I look at my problem is the perimeter of the front of a cereal box is uh, 50 inches. I can write down my formula for perimeter, okay, and I can write P equals twice the height plus twice the width, okay, but it's telling me that the perimeter is 50. So in for P, I can plug 50, basically. 50 equals 2h plus 2w. Now I have one equation, okay, from this one piece of information. I'm looking for two unknowns, height and width. So if I'm looking for two unknowns, I need two equations. Now, this next sentence says the height is 5 inches less than the width. Let's turn that into an equation. Um, 
let me put it this way. Uh, if you take the numbers 20 and 15, okay, 15 is 5 less than 20. So I can write this, 15 equals the big number 20 minus 5, doesn't it? You see that? Isn't that true? If I take the numbers 95 and 100, 95 is 5 less than 100. So the smaller number 95 is equal to the bigger number 100 uh, with 5 subtracted from it. Isn't that true? That's true, right? So we've got um, height is 5 less than the width. So we have height and we have W. Um, height is 5 less than the width. <clears throat> that means the width actually is the, is the bigger um, uh, number for some reason, which is kind of weird. It's like the cereal box is on its side. I don't know why. Anyway, but um, because see, the height is less, so, so it's the, 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 small num the smaller number height, h, is equal to the bigger number width, and then what? Minus 5, isn't it? Does that make sense? Because look, if height was um, 15, and the width was uh, 20, then it would be, you know, height equals the width minus 5. 20 minus 5, right? So in any case, these should be our two equations. So we have two equations, number two missing numbers, h and w, and obviously substitution is going to work here. So how do we do the substitution? What would be the easiest thing to do in this case? Well, the easiest thing may in fact be to look at this. See, h is on its own here, right? So put parentheses around the w minus 5 and its height is equal to this expression. So take this expression and plug that in for h, right? Because it's h equals this, so plug this in for h. So instead of 2h here, we're going to have 2 times w minus 5. And then we'll solve that, right? So here's an equation, and in this equation we just have w in it. So we can solve that. Distributive property, 2w minus 10. Add like terms. 2w and 2w makes 4w. And then solve the equation. So, you know, press pause and, and do this yourself. Do the equation yourself. Okay, I'll do it now. Add 10 to both sides. I have 60 equals 4w. Divide by 4 and I have 15 equals W. So obviously 15 is the width. It's telling me, am I done? No, because the question was to find the height and the width. So we also have to find H. And once again, I can plug if, if width equals 15. Okay? I can plug 15 into this W and then get H using this equation. Or I can plug 15 into this W and get the height this way. And this is usually the easiest one to use. 15 equals, sorry, h equals 15 uh, minus 5, height equals 10. Okay? So now I'm done because I found the height and width. But I should always check my answer. Okay? And the trick is to check both equations. The perimeter is 50, so and I'll just check it with, you know, a box. Just, it's more fun to check with a box, I think, anyway. Uh, because the width, let's say, is 15, okay? And the height is 10, okay? So let's say the perimeter, right, is 50. So we should have, obviously, 15 plus uh, 10 plus 15 plus 10. That should get 50. Okay, now that's 25, 25. Um, that does give 50, doesn't it? And also it should say that the height is 5 inches less than the width. And we have that the 10 is 5 less than 15, isn't it? So 10 equals 15 minus 5, right? And this also works out. 
Anyway, it's a very weird cereal box. Yeah, I've never seen one like it, but that's the answer. Example 2. The perimeter of the front of a textbook is 30 centimeters. The height is six height is six centimeters less than twice the width. Find the width and height of the book. Okay. So we're looking for width and height, two unknowns. We need two equations. We need two pieces of information to find two missing numbers. The first equation is going to come from this. The perimeter of the front of a textbook is 30 centimeters. We went over that in example one, and we understand that the formula for perimeter of a box is, you know, it's 2L plus 2W, or 2H plus 2W, whichever, it, you know. We're looking at height and width of a box, okay, or, or a textbook. And again, for some reason, the textbook is on its side, and the height is less. Height is 6 centimeters less than the width. In any case, so we have, you know, the height here, and the width is here, okay. Um, so this is our first equation, P equals 2H plus 2W, but it's, it, it already tells us that the perimeter is 30. So in place of P, I can put the number 30, and now I have 30 equals twice the height plus twice the width from, from this sentence, the perimeter sentence. Okay. The next sentence, the height is 6 centimeters less than twice the width. Interesting. Um, let's just play with that and explore it because that's what we need to do. I'm just going to give you this. Let's say the width was 10. What would the height be equal to? Uh, and I've already made a mistake because I've just seen how it's, it's actually not going to look like that. The height is going to be more. But in any case, um, if the width was 10, okay, just for fun, what would the height be? Now, it says height is 6 less than twice the width. So press pause and get the height, just for fun. I'm just saying, if the width was 10, find the height. Find the height. 6 less than twice the width. So, don't I have to get twice the width, which is 20? Okay. What's 6 less than 20? Isn't it just 20? Minus 6, 6 less than that, 14, right? 20 minus 6, 14. So the height would be equal to 14, wouldn't it? If the width was 10, the height would be 14. Does that make sense? Because the height is twice the width minus 6. Right? I'm just going to do, you might want to, if you've got it already, skip ahead but on the video, but just for anyone that wants to try this again. Look, if the width, just for fun, if the width was you know, 100 uh, centimeters. Find the height. Using this sentence, the height is 6 centimeters less than twice the width. Write it down. Have you got it? Well, 6 less than twice the width. It should tell you that, you know, you've got to get twice the width first. 200, right? And then it's 6 less than twice the width, so it's 6 less than that, so it's 200 minus 6, which gives me 194, right? So it's, you know, 6 less than twice the width. The height, again, is twice the width minus 6, okay? Now, width was 10, the height is 2 times 10 minus 6. Width was 100, the height was 2 times 100 minus 6. If the width is just W, if the width is, um, you know, just W, find the height. The height is twice the width, or sorry, six less than twice the width, right? And this time, instead of a number, we just have a letter. How would you write twice the width if the width is just W, not 100? But you just go two times W, right? And then you get 6 less than that. To get 6 less than twice 10, it's just twice 10 minus 6. 6 less than 2 times 100, 2 times 100 minus 6. 6 less than twice w, 2w, 2 w minus 6. Right? So this is our other equation. H, H equals 2w minus 6. So from 
this sentence, of course, I have uh, h equals 2w minus 6. Okay. And now, of course, I can solve by substitution. So press pause on your video and do that yourself. Solve that by substitution. Okay, now I'll do it. Now it should be obvious to see this H here is on his own. He's all by himself. So we're going to use that fact that H is equal to this expression and put this in parentheses. Now we're going to take this expression and plug it in for W or for H? Which? Well, we have H equals this thing. So, this, so that thing gets plugged in for H, right? So in place of H, we put 2w minus 6. And then we rewrite this whole equation. You know, it's 2 times h plus 2w. So it's 30 equals 2 times, you know, this thing plus 2w. And then we solve it. So if you haven't done it so far, press pause the video and solve that. Okay, now I'll do it. 30 equals distributive property 4w minus 12 plus 2w. Add like terms on the right hand side, 4w and 2w makes 6w minus 12. Solve for w. Add 12 to both sides, 42 equals 6w. Divide both sides by 6, and I have 7 is equal to w. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So my width is 7 centimeters. And am I done? Is that the end of the, of the question? Is that is it all over now? No, because you have to find the width and the height. Okay, width and height. Height and height. Okay, so I have W equals 7. And once again, I can take that 7 and plug it in here and find H this way with this equation. Or I can take the 7 and plug it in for this W here and find height this way. Either way, you should still get the same height. So H equals 2 times, plug 7 in for W, minus 6, and calculate that. H equals 2 times 7, 14, minus 6. And that is, you know, I have H equals 14 minus 6 gives me, uh, is that 8? Interesting. Width is 7, height is 8. Height is 8. So let's check that. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. Um, I'm going to draw my box. The height is more than the width. A little bit more, supposed to be. Um, I'm saying my height is 8, my width is 7. So always check your answers in your homework. Uh, the perimeter should be 30. So I should have 7, you know, if I take this length, plus 8, plus 7, plus 8, you know, this is all the way around the outside of the textbook, should be equal to um, 30. So I'll add these together and I have 15 uh, plus 8, 15, and that does indeed equal 30, okay? So the perimeter part is correct, and the height should be 6 less than twice the width. So um, 8... 8 should equal um, twice the width, 7, and 6 less than that, minus 6, okay? So 8 should be twice the width of 7 minus 6. So let's try that. 8 equals 14 minus 6, is that true? And I do that and I guess um, 8 is equal to uh, 8, right? So it works for that piece of information also. So always, you know, try to check your answer off of the original wording of the question, not just your original equations, because you may have made a mistake on your equations. So when you're checking your answer, always check it off the original word problem, okay? And of course, we should write, you know, width equals 7 centimeters, and height equals 8, you know, centimeters, obviously. 